the city of Oakland is home to some of the biggest uh, names the game of basketball has ever seen. And one particular youth center, which has opened its doors to tens of thousands of children for decades. It has a very strong NBA connection tonight. Fallon Smith takes us inside the East Oakland Youth Development Center, providing much more than just a place for kids to play basketball. This was my home. I think that's probably where it all started. I definitely have fond memories of there. Magic happens here every day. 82nd and International, an area known as the Killer Corridor. It's also home to the East Oakland Youth Development Center, a safe haven, a beacon of hope, Unfortunately, there is a lot of violence outside our doors. Um, what we try to do is create a bubble inside so that our young people can imagine, they can dream, they can enjoy their time and not think about all of that. This place was the haven where I could, number one, not die, right, and have my potential stamped out, <laughs> but two, also have some confidence about th this was my, my reality. In terms of a place to go where you felt like it was a refuge and a sanctuary, um, that's what EOYDC was known for. You know, just the values and things that were instilled in you there um, and, and have, being around adults that kept you safe. Now Shaw's just one of over a dozen former and current NBA players who first learned to play the game of basketball on this very floor. Others include guys like Gary Payton, Damian Lillard, and Jason Kidd. And they all credit this center for laying the foundation for their professional careers. You know, I was just a little kid, uh, not knowing, uh, but finding out that the game of basketball was something I loved to play and, uh, and had opportunity to play a lot there. At that time, you know, like I said, kids were just trying to find, you know, places to play and find good run, and that happened to be uh, one of the places. When you talk about Gary Payton and Brian Shaw and Hook Mitchell, guys uh, that were a little bit older than me that had played there, you hear the stories of them playing basketball and them being successful. So coming from Oakland, uh, you just wanted to be successful like those guys. Meeting Brian Shaw here was everything. Man, he was rich. <laughs> you, know, you don't see rich people. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he, was, he was super down to earth. He was real cool and you got to talk to him, you know, you got to shake his hand. When you're like nine and 10, 11, 12, that's everything. I like to credit EOYDC with, with great exposure and great competition and sportsmanship. I would love to say that if it weren't for us, <laughs> but I know better. I mean, they have some extraordinary skill sets. We're just glad that the real competition was on these floors and they came to get it. And now they give back to the place that gave them so much. For years, I opened up my house uh, for fundraisers and things of that nature um, because I know how, how important and how it helped in my success. It's important that when we are in position to be able to bring attention to that center and what it does um, and what it provides, that we do that. It's alumni like Shaw that have helped put EOIDC on the map. It's even caught the attention of Warriors guard Steph Curry. When Curry was named the NBA's most valuable player in 2015, he donated the car he won to EOIDC. I looked at the car and I was like, you know, this is really gonna be great because our van is like 15 years old, right? <laughs> but the messaging, one, Steph chose us. Two, he's on a stage the biggest stage in the, in the world, you know, MVP. And then you choose us. Then the kids, we had a parade just for the car. They were in need of transportation, um, just to you know, get kids from back and forth from the, from the center uh, to their homes, from schools uh, to the center. Uh, being able to just run errands to make sure that the kids had what they needed there. So um, once I found out that getting a, a car was uh, a part of that deal, um, it was a perfect opportunity to, uh, to bless them with that. A year later, the Warriors gave the center an assist, a big donation to renovate the gym. 
It was the last part of a capital campaign we did to fully remodel and expand the rest of the building, but we didn't have enough money to make the gym a part of that overall master plan. So, I mean, it was heaven sent for the Warriors to say, we got you. Well, EOIDC has been heaven sent for the Oakland community. Its mascot, the Hoyas. It's not a symbol, it's a commitment. The acronym, helping our youth achieve success. And for over 40 years, it's done just that. Just some of the Oakland legends that, that have stepped foot in that place that the kids that are coming up now need to know that they've been here, they've done the same thing and faced the same challenges that you face and they've, they've made it and so you can too. Our alums go on to be Hall of Famers. They go on to be Rookies of the Year. They go on to be amazing doctors and lawyers and, and dentists. So the, the positive impact they have in their professional lives means the world here because you don't know the next Gary Payton or Damian Lillard that's walking down that hall that's gonna come in here and blow up this basketball court. In Oakland, Fallon Smith, CSN.